Okay. This is crazy. I did all the way up into a part like seven on my testimony with how God brought my husband and I together. And clearly the enemy just does not... <laughs> Does not isn't I, I I'm not gonna blame something on the enemy when it's just my experience with cameras or computers, but I know how to work this thing and I did. At first I couldn't get it to record, and now after I recorded all four and uploaded them, none of them had sound. The freaky thing is none of the microphones were on mute. My computer is turned up to its highest, and this is set up to its highest. So clearly the enemy he doesn't but I'm going to keep doing it I'm going to keep doing it until it gets on here but I noticed that I had a lot of uh, like four views already for the prayer so before I tell my testimony and all again I'm going to get that prayer out there and the prayer was for those who are waiting on God those who are in um in the valley of decisions those who are who have been left at the altar those who have have who are still wounded by um broken relationships and you're still in the church and you still have to um communicate with each other you still have to work together in ministry so we're gonna pray we're gonna pray we're gonna pray right now and i believe that by faith god is going to touch you right where you are no matter where you are because that is the awesome thing about the God that we serve we don't have to light an incense we don't have to do a chant we don't have to do um, two steps back turn around and throw salt or anything like that we serve a God that is omnipotent he is everywhere he is anywhere he is with me he's with you or whatever when we pray to him we can pray and talk to him just like we would talk to any one of our friends we can talk to him and when we talk to him we can reach him we don't have to go through all these different things you know Jesus Christ is the intercessor that's why he died he came to be that intercessor between us and to God and um, we can talk to him and that's what we're gonna do right now we're gonna touch and agree by faith that all who sees this without this whatever the situation they are healed and that God gives you that keeping power so father God in the name of Jesus we come to you right now Lord God we come to you concerning your people, dear Heavenly Father Jesus. First, those who have been wounded, Lord God, by broken relationships, Lord God, in ministry, dear Heavenly Father Jesus. Someone may have married someone else, Lord God, and they thought that it was it. And now every Sunday they have to sit there and watch <laughs> that couple sitting there praising God. But I ask you to touch them right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Touch their hearts right now and touch their mind and begin to heal them, Lord God. And have them to realize that it was not a setback, Lord Jesus. But a set up for your best, Lord God, for your ministry, dear Heavenly Father Jesus. Those right now, Lord God, who are in their, the season or have been in the seasons of waiting, dear Heavenly Father Jesus. I ask you to give them patience, Lord God. Give them contentment, dear Heavenly Father Jesus, as they get busy working in your kingdom, dear Heavenly Father Jesus. Lord God, let my testimony be an encouragement, Lord God, that those who wait on God, dear Heavenly Father Jesus, they will reap the benefits, Lord God, and it's for your glory, dear Heavenly Father Jesus. So we just thank you, Lord God, right now for your keeping power. And I touch and agree and speak and declare by faith that you would give those who are waiting, that you told that it wasn't dating, that are used to the comfort of a male or a female, Lord God, that you would be their comfort, that they would feel you supernaturally wrap and just hold them lord god in the name of jesus that you would give the sh give them the strength lord god as you continue to build godly characteristics the characteristics of a spouse lord god as a husband lord god as you've placed them to headship dear heavenly father jesus so we thank you right now and by faith we believe that you are healing the heart lord god you are healing the mind from all past relationships dear heavenly father jesus and even if there is a married person that is looking right now god i ask you to give them strength as the enemy 
enemy hates marriage and looks to deter it and to destroy it because we breed other believers, Lord God. So right now, I send strength right now, peace, love, and joy to that home right now, God, in the name of Jesus. And any unsaved person that may be watching, Lord God, let them see, let them hear, let them know that you are God, that we serve, that we love. You are awesome. You are magnificent, dear Heavenly Father Jesus. So we thank you, we praise you, and it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. So, I'm making sure that you can hear me on this. <laughs> All my videos were muted. But I wanted to do that prayer again because a lot of my videos have been out there for like 30 minutes. And it was like no one on there. But I saw four views. And if it's just to reach one person, I will. I will. And that's what it's about to do. That That's what it's about for me. I'm not on here to be viewed by thousands of people to be picked up on here for anyone. I'm here to encourage and to uplift the young people or people in general people in general okay so you be blessed and believe by faith believe by faith you can't hold and right now I speak to the spirit of bitterness to the spirit of heaviness you have to attack the stronghold don't be bitter when you see someone walking in the church or walking in the store anybody you don't even know the people and you're like they're married I didn't say for 15 years, 8 years in ministry doing this and God ain't sent my husband yet. And these things just walking in here. It's not about that. That may be why you're still waiting. Trust God. Trust God. You are that special to him that he has to uniquely get this person together. Because you're so special to God, you just can't have anything. You can't have a fly by night, man or woman. Okay? Be encouraged. God is going to do it. Be blessed.